bed bug with band. For this exercise, all we're gonna need is a mini band or something that you can have to wrap around your toes that's gonna be able to, to flex and move this much. With this exercise, what we are focusing on is yes, core activation, and we're gonna get some hip flexion and hip extension out of that, but we're also focusing on posture. Okay? So many of us stand in lordosis with our butt out, or front rounded here. We don't even know we're doing it. We're just not activating our core and our hips aren't in a neutral position. This position then doesn't allow us to be really an athlete or in a good position. When we're anteriorly rotated, our hip flexors here are tight, okay? They're, they're compacted and our hamstrings are long, which makes them really tight. So we're not in a good position. What we need to do is rotate that to a neutral position. So if I'm back here and I try and lift my knee, I can't get there. But if I rotate my hips, I can get wherever I need to from that position. So we're taking that lordosis, okay? And then coming underneath and flexing strong. So we talk a lot about this in our library at Simple Speed Coach. So in that library, we're gonna be talking about posture, we're gonna talk about positioning, we're gonna talk about deceleration, landing, all that stuff. Go check those out, because I don't wanna spend too much more time here talking about that in Dead Bug with Band. But from that position now, in there, we're strong, we're flat in the front. We may have a little bit of a lumbar curve and that's okay, but as long as we're flat in the front and our hips are neutral. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna lay down on the ground so we can see that. So as I lay down on the ground, I'm gonna put my feet flat, I'm gonna bend my knees, and now you'll notice I have a little bit of curve under here. So I wanna work on getting rid of that. I tell my athletes to imagine there's a deadly spider underneath me and I gotta kill it, but I can't move my head and I can't move my feet. So I wanna pull that belly button through. I'm not trying to crush it, I'm just trying to rotate my hips. As you can see there, rotating my hips into a neutral position gets rid of that lordosis and now my abs are contracted. So I'm gonna be strong with my core here, pulling that through and holding that. Then I'm gonna lift up my legs. And what I'm gonna do here is go one leg into extension and one into flexion. So I go extend one leg, the other leg's in flexion here, and then I'm gonna trade that out. The lower I go, the harder it's gonna be. So the next step for dead bug with band is we're gonna wrap a mini band and we're gonna wrap it around our toes. So we're gonna get the core activation here now, but now we're gonna work extension and flexion, which is really crucial when we're sprinting to be able to get one leg fully extended and the other into flexion while keeping our hips neutral and activating our core. So as I lay down on my back, I get in that dead bug position. My abs are tight, okay? And I'm not trying to crush them. I'm just pulling that and rotating my hips into a neutral position. I'm gonna pull the band, get the band situated on my feet. I'm gonna pull the band towards me and then push it away with me from the other foot and then I'm gonna trade, okay? And I'm extending and pulling and driving one knee and going through there. And it's hard to do the lower I go to keep my abs in a neutral position while I extend, but that's really what we wanna focus on in this drill. Typically, I start with about 10 each leg, and as we do this drill, really focus on getting those hips into a neutral position, activating that core, holding that position so we can be strong. So that's gonna to translate to when we're running, we're shoulders over hips, hips over toes. We're able to drive our knee up, way into flexion where we need to go without going into lordosis and be able to land efficiently, making us a faster athlete. So it's a real simple exercise. All you need is a band, but it helps with that postural position that's gonna to translate to running, cupping, cutting, jumping, and sprinting, okay? And it's also gonna help with your posture and every day just to get your hips neutral, activate that core, and allow you to be in the right position for every type of movement that you may do.